Hi guys, it's James the Cricket Badger here. Good look ahead to Wednesday's game in the IPL now. And this one is a fascinating encounter. Rising Poon Supergiant taking on the Kolkata Knight Riders in Poon. And who knows who's going to win this? I mean, I've just given up on the outrights in this game, in this tournament, because everybody's beating each other. Some fantastic performances followed by some mediocre ones. Certain teams, the Mumbai Indians, six on the bounce, they lost on Monday. So it's wide open and both of these sides have a real chance of making the playoffs. RPS played seven, they've won four, lost three, but they've won their last two matches in the IPL. Kolkata slightly ahead of them in second place in the table as I record this video. Seven games, five wins, they beat the um, Royal Challengers Bangalore in their last game, they absolutely crushed them. Ball them out for 49. So both sides come into this game with some serious confidence in their ranks. WilliamHill.com can't pick between the two either. Both 10 to 11 shots. So if you have a real opinion on who's going to win this one, you've got a decent value there. Both 10 to 11 shots, just short of even money. I don't. I honestly have no clue who could win this one. Which is why throughout this competition, certainly in the last week or so, we've been looking down at the bowling and batting markets picking out who we think is going to be top scorer and um, best bowler and making some money that way instead. Remember, Badger Bets throughout the IPL so far, we've got back over 50% of our stake money in winnings. Great effort so far. Can we keep it going this week? <coughs> Excuse me. RPS, Stephen Smith, leads their line 5-2 to two for him. Ajinkya Rahani, I like him a lot. Plays proper cricket. Hashim Amla style. He's 11 to 4, Fafta Plessy 7 to 2, and Rahul Chapathi 7 to 2. The rest, other than Ben Stokes at 6 to 1, and then Mestoni at 7 to 1, I'm not sure I take any notice. So it's between those six. Stephen Smith's their class act, he's their best batsman. He's been a little bit run shy of late. I think the value here is to split stakes between the two lower or the higher priced horses in this market. Ben Stokes, I'm sure he'd love to be called a horse. Six to one for him. MS Doney, seven to one. You put a pound or whatever your stake money is on each one of those and one of them comes in, you've got a healthy profit in that market. Ben Stokes has been batting in the top four. MS Doney has been up there in the top five. So every chance they're going to get in and get a good go for you. So why not? Six to one, seven to one. Let's split our stakes between the two. For KKR, their leading man is Godson Gambier. Five to two for him. He's a real star in their lineup, and I think his captaincy in this IPL has been excellent. Robin Athapa, he's 100 to 30. Manish Pandey, he's a good little player at 7 to 2. Sun Lorene in there as your uh, pinch hitter at 5 to 1. He's done it a couple of times, hasn't he? 5 to 1. I mean, he started off when he started pinch hitting at 12s, I think. So you can see the success he's had. He's now into 5s. But I'm going to have to go for Go Tim Gambier. He'll open the batting, and he's. A real quality player. If he gets off and running, every chance he can land that bet for you. Looking at the bowling, Imran Tahir, the leggy 5 to 2, Adam Zampa, a fellow leggy 100 to 30, Unad Kat, 4 to 1 for him, bowled a fantastic last over against the Mumbai Indians to seal the victory for RPS in the last game. Um, other than them, Ben Stokes, 92. He's a big price there, Stokes, he, for a, a player of his quality. Let's, let's have this. If I was betting for my life in this market, I'd go in to here at 5-2. to two. I'm betting to try and make some profit. Ben Stokes at 9-2 to two is far too big in this market and as such gives us great value. So a couple of quid on him, returns 11 in your pocket. He's got every chance, hasn't he? Bowled really well, bowls the death overs where you can always pick up a couple of cheap wickets. 9-2 to two on Stokes has to be the play. And for KK Arts and Lorene, 11 to 4. Chris Wokes, who's I've been impressed with him, he's got better as this tournament's gone on. He's a 7 to 2 shot. Kuldeep Yadav, 9 to 7 to 2. Nathan Coulter-Nile, 7 to 2. Chawla, 7 to 2. Trent Bolt, 7 to 2. Plenty of 7 to 2 shots in there. The compilers can't decide. Neither can I, to be honest. Any of those has a real shot. So you could pretty much throw a dart at that list and you've got as much chance as anybody. Chris Wokes, though. Maybe stands out for me. 7-2 for him. I won't be having a bet on that market. There's too many horses at not enough value. But take your pick. Any of those could land. 
But this is a real stonking game. We're getting towards the nitty gritty now in the IPL, where teams are having to win to get into the playoffs. The trophy is getting ever nearer. Both of these sides have a real chance in this competition. Just to recap, I'm going to go for, I'm not going to have a bet in the KKR bowling. For the RPS bowling, I'm going to play Ben Stokes because of the price at 9 to 2. For KKR in the batting, Galton Gambier, a 5 to 2 shot for me, for him. And for the Rising Poon Super Giants, again, I'm going to play Ben Stokes. 6 to 1 for him, split stakes between him and MS Doney, who's a 7 to 1 shout. Both of those are value, both of those bat high up, both of those could stand a chance of landing. And at those prices, you just can't ignore it, can you? If I was going to have a play on the outrights here, I would go for RPS at 10 to 11, purely because they're playing in their own backyard. But both of these sides are so evenly balanced. This is a really fascinating contest on Wednesday. Have a bet, gamble responsibly, gamble to enjoy the match. And if you're lucky, you might have some profit on the end, at the back end of Wednesday. Enjoy the game, gamble responsibly, and I'll see you soon for the next preview on cricketbadger.com.